Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about recognition of faults. How to recognize different different kinds of fault. Okay, so there are three categorization of this. The first one is geological evidences. So in this there are four, three or four subtypes. So the first one is offsets of rock units. Okay, so in this what happens? Displacement of rock beds, dikes, veins, etc. occurs on opposite sides of fault. And this, uh, so the displacement of rock beds that occurs on the opposite sides of fault are called offsets of rock units. The second one is so if we found if we find such a structure there a fault will be found definitely. The second one is repetition or emission of strata. In this means if we move in a line and uh, the outcrop of a bed may be repeated or disappear. Sometimes the uh, outcrop uh, outcrop comes and after some time it repeats. Then again it comes and then it then it um, disappears. Then again it comes. Then it disappears. So uh, the uh, so this kind of structure uh, establishes a fault. Third one is abrupt termination of structure. Outcrop you all know what is an outcrop. An uh, outcrop is a large mass of rock that stands above earth's surface it is a large mass of rock that stands above the earth's surface okay uh, the third one is abrupt termination of structure termination means destruction if uh, a structure is uh, suddenly uh, destroyed then a fault can be found near the termination point the, uh, the point where the structure has been destructed a fault may be found there fourth one is abrupt change in attitude of strata attitude means its orientation and shape and size if strike and dip of strata change suddenly faulting is indicated if strike and dip changes then fault uh, is found there okay the fifth one is strata out of stratigraphic sequence means the stratigraphic sequence is that uh, the older rock beds will be uh, downwards and the uh, um, the younger rock beds will lie above them but if we find reverse of this this means that the, if the uh, older rock bed is found above and younger rock bed is found below then faulting can be found this is all due to the fault third one is so sorry now the second categorization we are moving to the second categorization this means fault plane evidences what are the evidences of fault plane okay the um, evidences due to the fault plane. These features are produced due to friction of the blocks on either side of the fault plane. Due to the friction, these uh, evidence, these play, these changes are produced. Um, the friction on the both sides of the fault plane. Okay. The first uh, structure is uh, silicon sides. What are silicon sides? Movement of one wall against another results in polishing and grooving of fault surfaces. Okay. The pol polishing and grooving of fault surfaces then what happens at uh, this so such grooves are called silicon side and mullions so what are mullions mullions are silicon sides having step like features so some such silicon side those are having uh, those, those are having step like features are called mullions okay and mullions are greater in size than silicon sides the second one is drag what is a drag drag is local bending caused by fault displacement at the ends of strata so you can see this is a fault displacement and a local bending you can see the strata is little bit bended so this bending is called drag the third one is fault brexia and gauge these are basically the names of rocks due to faulting rocks are fractured and crushed into smaller fragments and what is fault brexia fault brexia is basically angular fragments embedded in a matrix of finely grounded rocks are called fault brexia okay when angular fragments are embedded means are fixed in a matrix matrix means a cement like structure then um, a fault brexia is formed and uh, due to severe destruction sorry dislocation due to severe dislocation forced rocks uh, are broken down into clay like powder due to the um, severe forces rocks are broken down into clay like powders and that powder is called gauge okay silicification and mineralization in this what happens water rich in silica and other minerals passes passes or percolates means seeps into the rocks and uh, deposit these minerals there 
okay and deposit these minerals there um, and then water what happened water uh, escapes not as water uh, vaporizes and these minerals are precipitated there uh, precipitated means or uh, are collected inside the rocks then this process is called silicification and mineralization uh, and there was uh, faults are found okay feather joints what are feather joints tension fractures form due to fault displacement okay fractures tend uh, to form due to tensional forces and due to fault displacement are called feather joints you can see this is a diagram and this is a feather like structure formed there physiographic evidences what are the physiographic evidences this is the third categorization the first one is fault scar we have already studied about the fault scar it is an outcrop with a steep slope outcrop means a standing structure okay standing structure above the earth surface with steep steep means uh, yeah steep means uh, uh, straight straight slope okay fault line scar a ridge formed due to process of unequal erosion ridge is basically an uplifted structure and an uplifted structure formed due to process of unequal erosion when erosion is unequal that, that is called fault line scar offset ridges in the regions where resistant beds are displaced along a fault offset ridges are formed okay the uh, offset ridges are formed in a region region where the beds that oppose opposes the path okay where the bed that resists displacement along a fault uh, along a fault there the offset ridges are formed okay fourth one fault control of streams this means that streams may be shown path and direction by faulting due to fault where the fault has been formed the streams flow there such a stream follow a straight path and turn at right angles and the fifth and last one is lines of ponds springs or water seeking plants and that means that those plants that need water may lie in the line of fault suppose these are the ponds springs and water seeking plant these lie in line with the fault okay notes time